Art Camacho's life consisted of very humble beginnings in the rough barrio of southeast Los Angeles. Being a young, overweight child caused many of the kids to tease him and pick on him constantly. Camacho took to the cinema as a way to avoid the street gags. However, it was the movies that really intrigued him. It was at this point that Camacho wanted to somehow be involved in motion pictures. Unfortunately, he didn't know where to start, being Mexican, short, and obese certainly didn't help matters much. Upon suffering a beating at the hands of several gang members, he knew he had to take steps to defend himself. So at the age of 13, he enrolled in a Japanese karate studio. Committed to preparing himself for any situation, he began a strict regimen of martial arts, weight training, and dieting. He not only lost a lot of weight, but he boosted his self-esteem as well. One of the films that truly inspired Camacho was The Chinese Connection, starring Bruce Lee. Wanting to be more like Bruce Lee, his training intensified, and he decided to begin entering the tournament circuit. To further expand his learning, he began attending the Kali Academy and was introduced to Jeet Kune Do and Kung Fu San Su. One day, he happened to read about a Kung Fu seminar that was being taught by Kung Fu stylist Eric Lee in Hollywood on the art of Wan Hup Kun Do. He attended and was hooked. To art, Eric Lee personified the martial arts. He used to see Eric all the time in the magazines, and now he was training with him. He soon found himself working at a Spanish-language advertising agency, where he was exposed to television commercials. He eventually worked his way into acting in commercials, writing for them, directing them, and then producing them. Years later, he would open his own firm and garnered many awards for his contributions in the Spanish entertainment industry. It was also during this time that Camacho started polishing his skills as an actor in the local theater productions and was even able to land bit parts on television shows. It was an early dream in life that was becoming a reality. His acting skills began to flourish as he landed a few leading roles in a number of independent films. These films not only featured his acting skills, but his martial art prowess as well. In order to attain steady employment, he leaned towards his fighting ability and was booked consistently as a screen fighter. Eventually, Art was working all the time and, in a number of instances, was asked to choreograph the fight scenes as well. Through his martial arts background in karate, taekwondo, and kung fu, Camacho had the unique ability to design extremely creative fight scenes that got everyone's attention. It was at this time that he began to grace a variety of martial arts magazine covers and numerous articles dubbing him the Fight Master. One occasion occurred that would play an instrumental role in Camacho's life while working as a fight choreographer in a feature film. The director was watching the way Camacho was directing the fight scene. Impressed by his use of authority and the way he instructed his fighters, he approached Art and asked if he was interested in directing part of the film. Well, Art, of course, was ecstatic and was also extremely nervous at the idea of messing it up. To his amazement, the film production went seamless and he earned respect and recognition for helping to direct the film. He had also made a name for himself in directing. From that point on, Art leaped into the director's chair and began directing feature films with such luminaries as Steven Seagal, Armand Desante, Richard Grieco, and many, many more. It was during this time that Art Camacho and Michael Matsuda bumped into each other at a movie premiere. Art and Michael quickly became friends, and it was then that Art learned about the Martial Arts History Museum and Michael's plans to create such a facility. Camacho became very involved in the project. Believing he had an opportunity in which he could help, Art was about to host a huge tournament in Las Vegas called Star Bash. It was a tournament slash convention and seminar event. However, the most important part of the event was the dinner celebration, and he felt that he could use this opportunity to lift the museum to the next level. Camacho put his own funds out to host the large dinner celebration at the Stardust. He opened the dinner with a thanks to all of those who had assisted the tournament then turned the platform to the museum so it could properly host a museum ceremony and honor its pioneers in a formal setting. The ceremony was more than could be imagined. From video biographies, music, and specially designed Hall of Fame statues, the museum ceremony became the most talked about event of the year. It literally changed the face of the museum and from that point on became a real entity within the martial arts community. At his own expense, Camacho also arranged for numerous seminars on stunt fighting and wireworks and donated the funds 
to the Martial Art History Museum. On many occasions, Art traveled with the museum as they presented seminars and special events. From giving of his time and effort, he used his personal list of celebrities to take part in museum events and help fund the museum upon many occasions. The museum is proud to honor one of its own, Art Camacho.